a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ but once again this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country Trinidad and Tobago the land of my inevitability the land of my birth Trinidad and Tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea speaking to you all in the month of August 2020 brothers and sisters I was watching a video last night which is actually Sunday night with my dear Australian brother AJ Miller who claimed to be Jesus Christ well we know he's not Jesus Christ he's only fooling himself but let that let me talk about the video that I see he, he, in the video his wife is there with him Mary Susan Locke and AJ Miller is saying there's no devil he's saying Lucifer Satan the devil doesn't exist but he said there's evil spirits and these evil spirits influence people to do wicked things so A.J. Miller is denying what the scriptures teach he did not read in the scriptures the temptation of Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ fasted 40 days and 40 nights after he was hungry the temper the devil came to him and tempted him he's denying that in the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter of Revelation, they said there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon which symbolized Lucifer and his angels. He's denying that. On Jesus Christ cast out evil spirits out of people, as we read in the four synopsis gospel, and the apostles cast out evil spirits in people. He's denying all these things. And he is claiming to be Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, all ordered followers of A.J. Miller. Can't you all see he's, he's going against the scriptures, the holy scriptures, the Bible? And you all are gullop, gullop, I mean, swallowing down everything that he say as hot dumpling, as hot rice. And you all do not have all your Bible, studying the Bible to see what this man is teaching you all. But I true is false. And what he is teaching you all is false. But you all are not reading the words of God because you all are following his philosophy ideology. Well, his philosophy and ideology is not the philosophy and ideology of the Holy Words of the Bible. He is saying something contrary to the Bible, but yet claiming to be the very said Jesus of the very said Bible, who himself talk about Satan. Because Jesus Christ talk, 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 talk about Satan. He talk about Lucifer. Yes, in the gospel. But Egypt Mela is claiming to be that said. Jesus Christ had the Bible, but in but saying that Jesus Christ that that um loose Satan doesn't exist, the devil doesn't exist. Can't you all see he's going contrary? And I am saying to all the people of Australia and all over the world, AJ Miller is not Jesus Christ, he's just a mere man. He's claimed to be what he's claiming to be what he's not. I have said that in other videos, and I'm saying this in this video for this year. 2020. Adrian Miller, this is your little Christian brother way down in Trinidad and Tobago, letting you know that you are only fooling yourself. And as I said before in previous video, I will continue reminding you, my dear brother and people of Australia, Adrian Miller, before the end of this year 2020 comes to an end, come to, come to an end, will you do the right and decent and noble thing and face the journalists? And announce to the world that you are not Jesus Christ and, 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 and come out and admit and be honest and tell the people you was just doing that for popularity to get fame and to be famous like Jesus. But all these claims that I'm making of myself that I'm Jesus Christ of the Bible and I'm the reincarnation of Jesus Christ is false. And tell them that you are just a more mortal man and ask for forgiveness and ask and tell the Prime Minister and the President, no, the Prime Minister and the Governor General. And all the people of Australia to forgive you for the wrong that you have perpetrated upon them and the rest of the world. And, 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 and tell all of the people who is following you and think and put their trust and faith in you and putting their money in your scuffers in your pocket. To be honest enough and tell them that you are not Jesus Christ. So these people will recognize that they were being fooled and they have been taken along that, that ride. And they will recognize that you that um that um you didn't be honest enough to tell us 
so that now your organization divine truth well actually is not truth is false so they're teaching them will be dissolved so these people will go back to their merry home and the place of a bowl knowing that they was taken a ride by you and he was teaching them false teachings and false doctrines and you was not jesus christ will you be honest enough to come out and let and tell the world that so that you will receive forgiveness from the people and the people of Australia and all these people who have seen your video all over the world will recognize that was a you was perpetrating a, 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 a lie to them but you know when you do that AJ Miller all them videos that they have on divine truth will have to be deleted from YouTube account yes you cannot you cannot come out and tell the, when you come out and tell the people that you that you are not Jesus Christ you cannot have these videos on YouTube plane you have to contact the, the technician and the people on YouTube. You will have to make a private visit to them in the office in America or contact them and let them know what you have done. So they will delete all these videos. Because all these teachings are false. Are you willing to take that step, my dear brothers, my dear brother, AJ Miller, so that you will turn to the and so that now you will repent of your sin? And all the wrong things that you are teaching the people and leading them in the wrong way and truly surrender your life to the true jesus christ our lord and savior where he will receive you with open arms but no you are not doing that every day you are hardening your heart stiffening your, your neck justifying yourself fooling the people telling them that you are jesus christ and you are leading your bunch of bands of flocks of followers on that road of destruction and collecting all the money that they are putting in your scuffles and taking your three weeks on the days, you and Mary Law and going to France and Paris, living it up, eating lamb, ham, and jam, and coming back. And you are not buying no Bibles to distribute to the people, my dear friends, to distribute to the people. Uh, why are you not buying no Bible to distribute to the people? Because you know, if you do that, they will begin reading the Bible and they will come to recognize wait a minute he's saying something wrong he claiming to be the very said jesus christ of the bible but look we see jesus christ in the matthews talking about satan but he is claiming to be that said jesus christ but telling us now here in australia he, that satan doesn't exist they will say well you are contradicting yourself the people will start thinking that and you recognize that that's why you are not all the money that they give you you are not putting given by when by by no original king james bible to give the none of your, your bands of clicks of followers i have made that observation and i want the whole people of australia new zealand and england and the rest of the international community to record to, to, to pay that closer to recognize that fact too yes you alone have a bible there and you alone just take it up and quote from it conveniently to justify your wrongdoing my dear friend that's what you are doing but when i look at other people all over the world christians they have bibles in the church so you when know, visitors visitors come they're going home with a new brand bible and they have a program they have an outreach program they have program on shortwave radio so that when people pick up their program on shortwave radio all over the the shortwave broadcast on shortwave radio or tt station all over the world that they tell them in the broadcast if you all do not have a bible write in and we will send a bible for you all you know why they could say that because they already have hundreds of thousands of bibles put away for that but you don't even have 10 bibles to give to the to your to your bunch to the people who who is who are your staunch followers and also your the visitors that are coming there but you claim it to be jesus christ can't you see you're contradicting yourself and only fooling yourself and making yourself a big so-called puppy show aj miller aj miller my dear friends and you susan mary luck he have sweep you off your feet and everything he is saying you have swallowed on everything mary susan but i know that all the people of australia are not are not sweet sweet you, have, you cannot sweep them off their feet, my dear friend AJ Miller. Because a lot of the Australians, when you interview them, they are watching you straight in the eye and telling you straight to you, you are not Jesus Christ. And I want them to keep on telling you that straight to your face. 
you are not Jesus Christ. I am telling the, you that from Trinidad and Tobago, but I know my rest of my Australian brothers already began telling you that you are not Jesus Christ. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. And when they tell you that, you tell them, oh they misunderstand. They are misunderstand at all. They tell you the truth straight to your face. And you recognize that. But you still want to justify yourself in your wrongdoing and keep on fooling the massive of the people. Continue to fool the people that you are Jesus Christ. You are not Jesus Christ. I want you to know, A.J. Miller, that Lucifer exists. Unfortunately, he has become Satan the devil. But he exists and he is real. And he existed before mankind. And even God himself said he, is, he exists. Can you read the, remember in the book of Job when Lucifer came and before God and was talking to God? Now you saying that is not true when that is true. So you see right there you're going to contrary to the Bible. But yet claiming to be the very said Jesus Christ of the Bible. Hey Miller, you are only fooling yourself. You are only fooling yourself. And I want all the people of Australia, New Zealand, England and all the rest of the international community do not follow AJ Miller. Do not take all your own I don't cash and leave all the country to go and join A.J. Miller. He cannot save you all. He cannot redeem you all. He's just a mere mortal man. Only fooling you all with his false bags of trucks and his bags of lies, false doctrines and teachings that cannot redeem and save none of you all. And at the same time, you, you, he, have, he have his collection box there for you all to take out all the hard money to put in his, um, in his coffers so that he will rent places to keep his lectures. And of course, part of that money is going in his own pocket to travel around the rest of the world. He and Mary Susan Locke, they take a three weeks or three week vacation and then go return back to Australia to continue teaching you all these false teaching doctrines. And you all are not recognizing that because you are all a lead, you all are blind followers. You all are afraid to recognize the cult leader you all are following. A false Christ, he cannot to save none of you all. And he is leading you all on the road of destruction. Yes, yes. And all those followers of AJ Miller who will see this video and recognize what I'm saying and what I've said in other videos, when you all see these videos, I want you all to put up what I say carefully and above all, to take up the Bible, the Holy Bible. The word, since he is not giving you all no Bible, take up the Holy Bible, the words of God. From Genesis and start reading the original King James Bible from Genesis to Revelation and you all in the privately of all the home and you all will see a difference you all will see to recognize that what this man is teaching you all is contrary and you all will recognize that AJ Miller is just one of the many false Christ that Jesus Christ said many false Christ will come he's just one of that and when you all recognize that you all will leave his cult immediately and no follow him because now you all you all no no follow him or be part of his cult because now you all will know the truth yes now you all will know the truth so I challenge you all to take up that challenge and read the Bible because self you all that will have a Bible run to the Bible store and buy the Bible in the quickest, shortest possible time and began dust bloody dust over it and began reading it from Genesis to Revelation and you all will see the vast difference that the things what he is teaching is total contrary to what the Bible is saying. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear brothers and sisters, right? So I leave it up in all your hands. The ball is in all your court after all. Follow my instruction. Only let the Christian brother wait on and strength that unto you are telling you all the truth. When you all have done that and take up the Bible and go and read in it and see what AJ Miller is saying is false and, and you all leave him, you all will doing that for your soul salvation. Yes. And when you all do that, I don't want you all to come down and turn that and look for every Braxton or find out my telephone number. No, I want you all when you all have do that to go and tell others that AJ Miller is false. So that you all will convince the other followers, the leavers come, and they will join the different churches in Australia, a true Christian church that observe serve the true Jesus Christ and live in their life according to the scriptures. When you all members have listened to me and follow my instruction and do that. Yes. But of course my videos in in, in the on the internet, you all could comment and, and uh, comment in a message right again. Nothing wrong with that. I welcome that. But right now I haven't put out no official number, telephone number where no one could call me directly. 
when I crawl, finally I have some, I, finally I might do that in the fruit here, but not right now, brothers and sisters. So, so brothers and sisters, A.J. Miller is only fooling himself. See, the devil exists. Lucifer exists. But he's saying there is no seat, there is no seat, and there is no Lucifer. The devil doesn't exist. You see, he's going contrary. And this is what I'm telling you all, brothers and sisters. So recognize that fact. And listen what a little, little Christian brother is saying, teaching you all. And letting you all know that. Letting you all know that. You all need to read the Bible for all yourself. Yes, read the Bible for all yourself. Because he's not going to buy, buy, buy no Bible and give you all. And you all must recognize that fact. Recognize that fact. My brothers and sisters of Australia, recognize that fact. And follow my every instruction to the T and to the letter. Follow your own soul, salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends. Remember, Jesus Christ is the true savior of the world. Not A.J. Miller. He cannot save no one. He himself needs to be saved. He is only masquerading, fooling himself at the end of the day. And I know he's conscious of that. But he so want to justify himself. Yes, he so want to justify himself. Uh, but he think he could fool the whole world with that. He, he wasn't able to fool the whole world with that. He will only be able to fool a certain percentage of people with that masquerading or that he's on, that telling them he's Jesus Christ. He will not be able to fool the whole world with that because even people in Australia don't believe he's Jesus Christ, much less in other parts of the world. So you see, brothers and sisters, at the end of the day, he will only have a certain, a little clique, bands of followers. Well, that these bands of followers of him become come up to a thousand or a million, they still compare to a band, a little, a little cliques of followers compared to the eight billions of people in the world. And it will remain that way until Jesus Christ come. He think he could convince all the eight billion people in the world that he is Jesus Christ. So that everybody you know, will come up to Australia and start bowing down their knee to he. So that even the Pope will come up to the and bowing, bowing down Pope John Paul, bowing, Pope Francis bowing down to he. And kissing his hand and he ring. No, A.J. Miller will never see that. So you see, you need fooling themselves at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Given only a set of old talk because he because he's because he's a child of academia and he's bright like a school teacher, writing ones of the high big words and things, and he's very fluent. Yeah, and all the taking up his charisma and his charm and his thin thinness and all these things that he's bright and he could write fast on the board. Yes, 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 yes. Who we fool by all of that? Neither. My brothers and sisters, he is not what he claimed to be. Despite he is bright academically. It's nothing wrong being bright academically. Yeah? But he's showing that. He's showing that. But that is only on a physical aspect. But the claims that he is making that he is Jesus Christ and reincarnation and all these things. He's fooling all you. He's fooling all you. And he's fooling all you. Fooling all you. Fooling all you with these false teachings and doctrines. And I want you all to recognize that. What Eric Braxton is telling you all in this video. Yes. And you all will recognize that when you all take up all the Bible, the Holy Bible, the original King James Bible, and began reading the Bible for all yourself from Genesis to Revelation, you all will begin to see a fast difference that he is not Jesus Christ. You all will see that the true Jesus Christ is saying one thing, but he claiming to be that same Jesus Christ of the Bible, teaching something different. So you all will recognize it, that he is not Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ doesn't contradict himself. He said Jesus Christ doesn't contradict himself. So how can he be the Jesus Christ of the Bible and claiming who, who lived 2,000 years ago on earth where no Jesus Christ is eternal? But claiming he is Jesus Christ in a modern form, but going against the very said Jesus Christ, what Jesus Christ says in the Bible, you all will see it's two different character. One character is saying something which is the Jesus, true Jesus Christ in the Bible, but he is claiming to be that said Jesus Christ in the Bible, saying something different to what the Jesus Christ says. For instance, Jesus, the first miracle Jesus Christ performed was turning water into wine. He is saying just Jesus Christ never turned water into wine. So you see, he's going contrary to the scriptures. 
Jesus Christ, the, the devil tempt Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ rebuked this. We see where Jesus Christ rebuked Satan. But he said, there is no, there is no devil, no Satan. So you see, he's going contrary to the scriptures. But yet still claiming to be the said Jesus Christ of the Bible. Right there, that's a contradiction. Brothers and sisters, right there, that's a contradiction. And I want you all to recognize that contradiction and reject it all right in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Except the Bible and except what the true Jesus Christ say in the Bible and reject what A.J. Miller say because A.J. Miller is not Jesus Christ. And to top it off, to show you the foolishness that he is on, you know, brothers and sisters, if you all do our early research on A.J. Miller, when A.J. Miller was a, set, a Jehovah Witness pastor, one elder at the time when he had the watchtower magazine and the wake magazine doing his canvassing and going to house to house telling people about telling people about jesus christ and the bible you know at that time he was not where every house he go to and grow the, the wake magazine because he grew up in a jehovah witness magazine i mean um christian uh, background because his mother was jehovah witness so so when he was going on giving away giving out the jehovah witness he was telling people he was never making the claim that he was Jesus Christ. But he was telling people about the Jesus Christ in the Bible. Ah, you see? And when he'd have done that for a few years, he left the Jehovah faith, the Jehovah group of that Christian sect. Right? Right? He left them. And then, then when he have left them, he no longer began giving out the Jehovah Witness magazine, the Watchtower and the Week magazine. No, he began claiming now, claiming now that he is Jesus Christ. Then he said, oh, now I know I am Jesus Christ. But in the early stage, when he was, give, when he was, given, each, when he was given out Watchtower magazine, at that time he did not know that he is Jesus Christ. You see the contradiction he is on? You see the contradiction he's on? Right there you all will figure him out. That he's only he's lying. He's lying to you all. And fooling you all. And I want you all to recognize that also. The contradiction that he's on. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. It's not right to say. So we'll end it on this, um, this note. So follow my instruction to the T to the letter all those followers and all those people who was part of A.J. Miller cult and have left, I want to congratulate you all a full hundred percent. You all have done the right thing because you all recognize that you he was not Jesus Christ. He was not Jesus Christ and he was only fooling you all. I, I thank you all for leaving and that you are no, no longer part of A.J. Miller cult because he cannot save you all. Now all those who have left away A.J. Miller Right? Right? And studying what is all the next move. Oh, you all haven't made that next move as yet. Well, I'm instructing you all to make that next move. And that next move is to find that Christian church in all the district area where the people they are following the Bible to the T to the letter and they are truly serving Jesus Christ and they are truly keeping the Ten Commandments. To so go there and join yourself with them. Be partake of part be part and parcel of the of the um, programs by doing Bible studies with them, telling them you all you all you all was a former member of AJ Miller cult. Repair for baptism, get baptized, become a Christian, and began preaching the gospel. So so that is the move I expect you all to do now. Right? So you all will truly accept the true Jesus Christ, and you all will begin reading the Bible from Genesis to Revelation with the other. With all the Christian brothers and sisters in that church that you all have joined up the road or down the road or in the little town or in the little village all around yes that is the move I want you all to make now brothers and sisters that is the move I'm choking you all to move brothers and sisters brothers and sisters that is my recommendation and to those who already do that who was part of A.J. Miller cult, but they are former members of the A.J. Miller cult, and now they are they have they are they are, they are, they are, they are, they are going to church now. I welcome that. I welcome that. Bravo, hats off to you all. Bravo, bravo. Well done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. And I pray and I hope that these these members 
who staunch members that is in his cult. I, 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 I pray that they follow, that they follow, that they too will come out, out of his cult and follow suit. Follow suit. And other members who have come out and recognize the Jamalai's fault and have joined churches, joined churches, joined that they have joined, they, they have gone to, they have gone, for instance, they have gone to the Seventh Day Adventist Church, and now they are Christian. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I welcome that. I welcome that as a long child person in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Well, I didn't want to make this video a half an hour video, but I passed 25 minutes, so we'll go to the half an hour and see how, how it goes from there. So HML is only fooling himself. He's only fooling himself of the end of the day and the end of the night. He cannot save no one. Neither he or Mary Susan Locke. Right, brothers and sisters? So I'm warning you, I warning all of you all, all over the world, who are watching that AJ Miller videos, do not accept what he's teaching you all. He's only fooling you all. Do not take all your hard-earned money and buy flight ticket and, 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 and um, don't leave all the country to go to join AJ Miller in the Bible Belt in Queensland or the west of a part of Australia. Yes, you all be wasting all the money. Keep all the money in your pocket. Use that money and buy a Bible in all the country and be can read in the Bible. Do not go and, eat, go and join A.J. Miller. He cannot save none of you all. He is not God. He is not Jesus Christ. He is going contrary to the, to the scriptures. His claims are false. But if you all reject everything that this little Christian boy Eric Braxton is saying and say Eric Braxton don't have authority over us. We will not listen to Eric Braxton. We will go and join A.J. Miller and be part of his cult. We will, we will take out his, our own hard own cash saving and put it in his scuffers in his pocket. Well, you all be giving him his money for him to travel all over the world eating lamb, ham and jam, see in different places. Why you all be stuck in Australia in that little place that you all are renting. And when he come out from his three weeks va vacation, and back in his lecture hall, you all will be like little puppy dogs before him, listening to what he's saying, and, and you'll be showing all these false teachings at you all, and you all will be gobbling it down. But all these false teachings that he's given you all cannot save none of you all, because he's only fooling you all. And he's getting popular by it at the same time. Oh yes, I'm making more videos about it at the same time. And why you all are joining, leave all the country? And family members are sending money to you all to sustain you all in Australia, or that, or that you all get or become citizens of Australia because all they like him so much and his false teaching and build houses there and renting it and become citizens of Australia and began working as Australia. Uh, you all continue to put more money in his scuffers and he's getting fatter and fatter. Why is you all are getting thinner and thinner? Yes, this is the example I'm using to show you all that you all are following a cult leader and that cult leader, A.J. Miller, cannot save none of you all. So I want you all to recognize that fact early o'clock and remain in all the native land country and keep that money and do not go and give A.J. Miller it because he cannot save none of you all. Yes, I heard perhaps and it's shocking you all all over the world who happen to see this video to follow my instruction to the T and to the letter and do not go and join A.J. Miller. Because he's not God, he's not Jesus Christ. He's just a ma mere man fooling himself at the end of the day. He of himself need to be saved by the true Jesus Christ. But claiming that he's Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, when they, they said true Jesus Christ said many false Christ will come, well, he's one of them. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, he's one of them. He's just one of them. So I want you all to be aware of that brothers and sisters, in all the name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. AJ Miller is my brother. I love him, but I have to tell him the right thing. Yes, today or tomorrow I leave Trinidad and Tibet when I go up to Australia and I see AJ Miller. I will embrace him with love, with the love of Jesus Christ, but I will watch him in his face and tell him, or what you are doing is the wrong thing and you are only fooling yourself and the, and the people of Australia and the rest of the world. I will let him know that. 
has already let them know that in these videos. But if I go up there literally, I will tell him that if he's ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. I want you all to know that. I want you all to know that. And I want you all to believe what I'm saying. Because what I'm telling you all is the truth. My brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. So brothers and sisters, I reach my 30 minutes. We will end it at that note. So bye-bye, my friends. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.